when I was at home in Ukraine and didn't do anything. When I came to Quartz Silver, I really started to live. Being here makes me feel like a part of a community, like part of something bigger than myself. We need to accept everybody and be friends of everybody. I came to Quartz Silver very shy girl and I get out from Quartz Silver strong feminist woman that will build a good future for myself. But I'm not sure actually what I want to do in the future. It has so many options and this school gives me all of them. Far Silver is so great because it's shaping the future of the kids in Israel. I am about 45 minutes outside of Tel Aviv at one of the Ort campuses or schools. The only way you can see how well the Ort model works is to actually come here. So I'm going to show you around Kfar Silver. They have here supreme high school, best right. standards. They're learning at the one hand high tech, the best STEAM oh, really? education. So from high tech to down on the farm? Exactly. Tell me what they're learning here. This agricultural school, I think, gives them such a different outlook and uh, connection to animals, to the surroundings, to nature. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>How has your life been changed by art and what you do here? First of all, the teachers care much more about the students themselves. They want us to succeed. Second of all, the place doesn't feel like a concrete prison. There are open fields and the work days give you an understanding of work ethics and allow you to actually walk the land and help them make this school a better place. Coming here, the teachers they could help me and understand. And have you decided what you want to do for a job or a career yet, or you're still working it out? I'm still working it out, but this school gives me many options to choose from. They go from the classroom to reality. Exactly. So they start at the morning with the reality, with the cows or with the sheep, and then they go into the classroom, they work. And in the afternoon, they have their own social life. And we give them everything because Ort really believes they should have the whole world like every other student. There's no other school I've ever been to where, in the space of two or three hours, you go from milking a cow to reading about Google. So this is quite a school. הגעתי לבד, בלי משפחה, אני לא ידעתי את השפה, אני הייתי בן 15. אני חושבת שכפר סילבר הצליח אותי בבית. There was a lot of going on in my family. כן, בהתחלה זה היה קצת קשה, אבל יש פה המורים, מדריכים שעוזרים לי. The most important thing that Kfar Silver gave me, I think, it's the feeling of family. ועכשיו אני מקווה שאני אעסק את ישראל באולימפיאדה. I would like to study medicine, and I think that I can do this because of my history in Kfar Silver. בלי אורט אני לא יודע מה הייתי עושה בחיים שלי. Every kid has his own story and his own problem. We are here just to help them, just to be with them. Hello, hello. We're in the dormitories of yep. Kfar Silver and we're meeting here two students. <laughs> so Suleiman says he decided to come here because he wanted to speak good Hebrew and to be part of the community of the Israeli environment. Right. He's become a very good student. He gets some prizes for his studies yeah. and he's become a totally different person growing up in a school and in a village like this. So Eden brings the two worlds. She loves mathematics and she's good at it. And she's yet learning biology and agriculture. So she's bringing both worlds together. How do I say thank you in Hebrew? What? Tudah. Tudah. Rabba. Tudah Rabba. In Kfar Silver we have uh, 
microcosmos of the Israel. It's like uh, I have uh, Arabic friends, Ethiopian friends, uh, friends from different parts of the Russia and Ukraine and Kazakhstan, Belarus, different countries, different cultures, everyone different happy. languages, everyone happy with each other. This has been the most extraordinary 48 hours. I have gone back in time, thousands of years to Jerusalem, and I've come to the absolute future with the next generation of kids who are going to be everything from dairy farmers to computer programmers. And I've seen what I think the future is for this education organization as well. Israel is truly a unique part of the world.